Well, I wanted to make a video to show everybody how to hook up these. You, you see these online, you know, and you, and they say they're for RV and they're also for uh, boats. Uh, they're made by uh, SureFlow, FlowJet, and uh, this one here is a, a, a Marine made, and um, they're all the same. They all have the same type of a thing here. This here is an inch and a half thread. This here is a one inch, this is your one inch outlet that you're going to hook up your hose connector to. And I'm going to show you what you need to get um, to uh, go ahead and make this work for your RV because this will not connect to your sewer line in the RV. First thing I did is I went to um, Camping World. And this here, as you can tell, has a standard sewer connector where you're going to put it up and connect. And down below is a standard three inch PVC uh, slip on glue on connector and so I bought this at Camping World and what I had to do is I went to uh, Home Depot and I found this which is really a uh, perfect uh, to make this work this is three inches on the outside and in here is an inch and a half that you're going to hook up uh, uh, I'll show you the, the little uh, piece of pipe but what you do is you take the piece that you got from Camping world this will just simply slide in you, you, you put your glue on it and you slide it in and glue it now This here is just going to be one solid piece. This is inch and a half This here will connect to your sewer line What you got to do now is make it connect to here in order to do that. I Bought this is just from Home Depot also. It's a inch and a half piece of PVC pipe and I cut off maybe, I don't know, two, two and a half inches. And what you do is, this adapter from Home Depot, this also just simply glues in. You slide it in, you glue it, you know, you put your PVC glue here and here, and you slide it in, and it, it'll make a nice solid fit. So what now you have to do is get this to fit on to this. So, Home Depot, once again, they have this inch and a half, to inch and a half threaded and now you see the threads here you're going to notice that the threads will, are perfect they just slip they'll just screw right on and now you have the inch and a half uh, that will connect to this inch and a half what you'll do is you'll slide that in you're going to glue it so now once everything's glued uh, this is ready to hook up and then all you need to do is, and I'll show you that in just a second, is hook this inch to a, a hose line adapter. But just so you know, what I noticed is this here, um, you know, when your sewage comes into a three inch pipe here, it suddenly has to go down into this tinier, what, inch, inch and a half, something like that. I noticed that if I take my hacksaw and I'm going to do it, I cut it right where these threads are. It, it will make it uh, bigger and also it will make it clean if you don't cut that piece off here you're gonna get poop and everything going between here and this connector here see this if it is you, you this screws on but you notice you have this big uh, gap between the you know the the motor and this piece so cut this off just cut it off and when you glue it on or you screw it on and then you glue the piece you won't have that big lip the only other thing you need to do is and this piece here comes off just a couple of screws and it'll come off is you go to Home Depot and I bought this this here is just a this is hose threads here and over here it's just a, a, a slip-on connector for a you know any one inch type uh, tubing um, so what I bought this at Home Depot this will slide right in as you can tell I'm gonna put a hose clamp on it and then it goes into here it's also a one inch uh, I'll push it in nice and tight and then I'll put a hose clamp the reason I got clear is that I, I'll be able to see if I want to clean my tank uh, if I can see clear water coming out and uh, so it's just nice. you can use a solid piece it doesn't matter just hose clamp it hose clamp it they have these in metal but I don't plan to torque it tight I'm just gonna make it hand tight and then pump it through so and that's how you make it uh, you know 
then you run this to your sewer line or your toilet or wherever you're going to do. The other thing is, you just this is just simple 12 volts. I think it even said it would handle. No, this is just 12 volt. So you, you'll have to figure out how you want to connect this. You can put a, a cigarette lighter adapter with an extension and a little switch. You can make this long and put little, uh, you know, alligator clip type things you can put on your battery or whatever. So you just have to run 12 volts. Just make sure red is positive, black is negative, and that's it. I think uh, I, I haven't used it yet, but these macerators cost, you know, two fifty, three hundred dollars $300. I was able to get this on uh, Amazon for $83. And the other parts, you know, brought it close to $100. The nice thing is, if this thing ever burns out, I can just... Pull the part I made, take this off, and for another 80 some odd dollars, buy another one. And you're not spending $250, $300. Hope that helps, and uh, uh, good luck with it. Take care.